very gifted citizens. Welcome to CDI. I'm Daniel Gala. I'm here with Rupam Sharma. How's it going, Rupam? Doing well. Great. Fantastic. My friend's coming here from India yeah. to tell us about his project called Manoview. Yeah. Manoview, you were just telling me, you just explained to me, Mano in Spanish is hand, and view in French is view, vista, uh, sight. Yeah. So it's hand and sight. Yeah. That equals a glove that is very similar to that movie Minority Report where the glove controls the uh -huh. world in uh -huh. a way. Right, right, yeah. And this is for people that have an impairment. Right, right. Uh, uh -huh. Disability impairment. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. So explain to us a little bit how that came along and sure. how sure. Uh, Man of You uh -huh. became a reality from science uh -huh. fiction. Wow, yeah. Thank you. So uh, two years ago, like while re researching like color blindness, I had this profound moment what it would be like to live in complete darkness. Empathizing this, with the blindfold gave me a very scary experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I went to a blind school in India, spent 15 days over there, and I realized like it's like really hard for somebody living in poverty in India. Blindness can be like really, really impactful on them. Conducting research and survey over there, I figured out like three major problems which the visually impaired people face. First is the inability to read printed text, like non-braille text. No, 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 nothing printed. It's, it's yeah. It's basically impossible. If it's not in braille, they're just. Yeah. Out in the darkness, yeah. literally. Yeah. yeah. And the fact is that 94% of the people, they don't know how to read Braille. 94%. Really? This leads to 85% unemployment. So, so you're, th this, is a, this is a problem in, in the community. Yeah, that yeah. Mo most of them, they don't have the skill to even read in their, in their language, right, which is Braille. Right, right. Agree, agree. Yeah. So there has been no core innovation in terms of literacy for the visually impaired since the last 200 years. Braille, which was a very successful solution, is now obsolete because with the advancement of human Te beings and technology. Technology, yeah, what are yeah, they going to do with yeah. Braille? Right, are agreed. They gonna, are they going to read the bumps yeah, in the yeah, screen? Yeah, yeah. We have like newspapers coming every day. We have like novels and everything. You can't get every th single thing printed in Braille. It's expensive. It's not like you, you cannot simply get it in one day or like two hours. So it's a very difficult thing. And, and then, so that. Uh, you know, that's a big, huge problem. Yeah. Then how do you decide to attack that problem, to tackle the problem? Uh -huh. So this was one of the issues. Second issue was moving from one place to another. Okay. So Daniel, suppose if you want to go from here to the gate, you're going to find like multiple obstacles there. Imagine if you were completely on a blindfold, if, if you were a blind person, how oh. difficult it would be. Extremely difficult. You right. probably need an assistant, someone to yeah. guide you in a way. A sort of an assistant is actually required to be with you all the time. Yeah. First, this is the second problem. Third thing is like the smartphones. So whoever built smartphones, like he forgot the visually impaired. Initially, we had like phones which had like QWERTY keypads. So we, you had like markers on key five, and even on the laptops you have like F and G key. Yeah. But whoever built, yeah, so you can the bump, yeah, where to yeah, situate your, exactly. Your, key, your yeah, key, yeah, uh, fingers yeah, so they can yeah, start typing. Yeah, yeah. For a smartphone, like a person actually needs to touch and type, but for for a visually impaired person, since he cannot see, it's like impossible for him. So access to smartphones is another challenge. So, you know, I ran the black box in my mind, talked to a lot of people, iterated with them, what could be a possible solution. You know, spent a lot of time ideating this. We finally came up with ManoView. So Mano in Spanish means hand and view in French means vision. ManoView is the world's first intelligent personal assisting system for the visually impaired. It is a glove which does three simple things. The first, it helps the visually impaired read printed text by simply pointing their finger over the written text. Second, it helps them to navigate freely outside well-known environments through the means of haptic feedback. Third, it comes with a mobile phone application that is totally voice controlled. It enables the user to use his phone only by their voice. So it is meant to replace the braille language, the cane, and it opens up the smartphone market to the visually impaired. It brings independence, employment, and empowerment to the visually impaired community. Definitely, I mean, yep. they, they, they stop being a marginalized sector of society and you're bringing up to, to play around in the, in the workforce, in the marketplace, and right. everywhere else. Right, 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 yep. And uh -huh. now tell me, um, how, do, how does it work? Like, yep. if I'm wearing the glove, let's say I'm uh -huh. visually impaired, I'm wearing the glove, uh -huh. Uh -huh. am I gonna, uh -huh. how do I use it? I, I yeah, point sure. to things and it's, yep. gonna, yep. it's gonna have a proximity, uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. detector, uh -huh. yep. on a yep. sort of, some yep. sort of alarm. Yep. Yep. So, you know, you have, a you have the glove, you press a button, it starts listening to you. Since it's, a, it's an intelligent glove, it, list, it starts listening to you. So you, you, give, you give him commands. You it's give, like Siri, but it's like handy. A, yeah, yeah, it's an intelligent system like in, in itself. Okay. So you, uh, suppose if you say start reading, so it starts the reading mode for the glove. So in that case, you can just point the finger 
over any text. It does an OCR. It converts that to speech, and you can Re actually recognition through analytics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then yeah, brings it yeah, into voice command. Yeah, yeah, command and yeah. yeah. Wow. So there's a picture that is taken, and we have developed our own like algorithms for like image processing in this. So those images are fed into the algorithm. It runs over that, does the processing, and it converts to speech. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Converts to speech. Yeah. Yeah. Real time. Yeah. Real time. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What, what else? What else? I'm, I'm getting excited. Yeah. This. So this is one thing. Yeah. Uh, another thing is like navigation. So as we talked about, so there in, are in the physical world. In the physical world, right? Okay. So the major. No, not web navigation. Yeah. Or anything yeah. Like that. The major problem with the stick right now yeah. is like it cannot detect obstacles above your waist level. So suppose you, if you're walking in a park, like walking on the street, and there, if there's a branch, it cannot detect it can that. Knock you down. Right. Right. So the why why. We developed this. The major reason was like to detect not even the or not only the obstacles below your waist, even the ones which are above your waist. That's very so, cool. Yeah, that's very yeah. cool. So you, all you need to do is you need to speak to the glove, like start navigation. It starts the navigation mode. The sensors get activated, and it starts. You just you can just start walking. And if there's anything in front of you, if you're if it's uh, anything on the left side, it gives you a haptic vibration on the left side, and it tells you how you should go, like either left or either right. Or swerve. How, yeah, right. Wow. Right. Yeah. This is this is the real deal, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. You're gonna you're gonna be changing a lot of yeah, lives. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh -huh. There you have it, man yeah. of you. Uh huh. So. Wow. Yeah. Are you are you ready for uh -huh. uh, for the announcement today? Yep, yep. Uh -huh. I'm really excited. Like it's been super inspiring here. Like I've never ever been like surrounded by so many people who are doing who are changing the world and like are making an actual impact. So it's been a wonderful experience for me here. Super Thank you, super Don't, inspiring. I mean, I'm just yeah. I'm just here to uh -huh. interview. You. Don't, yeah. don't speak like uh -huh. that about uh -huh. me. Man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, even you too. Yeah, you're doing a fabulous job. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, keep yeah. keep uh, keep here. Uh, uh, you know, watching the videos, sharing them. This is CDI, Gifted Citizen. Don't forget to stay tuned uh -huh. for more surprises. Follow him, social yep. media. Th those yep. are his. Uh, that's his website. That's yep. his. Uh, all his big deal, yep. and you'll be hearing about Man of You. Yeah, sure. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.